Hi everyone. How are you all doing? <laughs> Today I thought I'll take you for a walk. Um, yeah, just just I uh, just fed up of just sitting on my sofa chatting with you. It, it's been a while. <laughs> How are you guys doing? So today I'm going to be talking about this year in my life as a social worker, as a newly qualified social worker, and specifically about my ASYE. So apologies if the sound isn't very good. Can you read lips? Yes, come with me guys. You're welcome to Lux and Chronicles and it's your girl, Opsy Baby. <laughs> get um, hot chocolate from my local pub they're just doing like takeaway service so yeah I just want to like sit down enjoy this whilst I chat with you let me show you I got some marshmallows let me show you guys hang on oh, stay here my tripod not very good this tripod okay we got that in the end Ah, look, look at that. Yeah, I got that, and I also got a blueberry muffin. Look, mm. to go with it whilst I chat with you. So, this is definitely not a healthy walk. So, the first thing is, um, I qualified. As a social worker during the, during the COVID-19 pandemic so I just wanted to chat to you about this year um, and how it's been mm. this is really warm and nice mm. Mm. so the first question I guess is what is ASYE so this is the assessed and supported year in employment where when you're qualified as a social worker you will be supported in your first year of employment. So you're supposed to have support, you're supposed to shadow a lot of people, you're supposed to be learning and be supported whilst you're learning on the job. So, it's coming up to my first three months um, review. And I just wanted to chat to you about how it's been. Um, I'm working as a social worker in the adult mental health unit. And it's been really hectic. It's been very busy. And as you can guess, the pandemic has not made it any easier on people's uh, mental health. So I'm going to do another video where I chat to you about what a social worker does or what a newly qualified social worker might be doing in the mental health, uh, adult mental health sector. Obviously, this will be based on my experiences. Yes, but I wanted to come and do this first. I'm going to actually take you through this whole year if you're interested in what happens in the ASYE year. And then just to give you like kind of what my caseload has been like. So the heaviest have had about uh, about 11 people on my caseload I'm sorry I think my phone is shaking a little I've had about 11 people on my caseload so I'm coming up to my third month review because um, I started the ASYE program in January even though I started work last week in november i didn't actually start my asye till uh, uh till january of this year 2021 so i'm just coming up to my third month review so i've had one direct observation where my um assessor was um observing me obviously due to covid19 we could not be in the same room i was in the same room uh with the patient but she was observing me via um MS teams so 
yeah it was nerve-wracking nerve-wracking but i got through it and the feedback has been positive obviously there's always room for improvement so that is done i've also asked my colleagues for feedback and i've been working on my critical reflection log this is a very big document where you just have to reflect on things practices and everything that you have been doing look at my t-shirt i don't know if i show you did i put it on on purpose yes of course i did so just enjoy where you are now so <clears throat> that's a digression um so generally that's how it's been so i'm going to have this three months review where we're going to talk about what's going to happen for the next three months and that will be the three to six months uh, planning. I'm going to do another document where I'm going to be um, uh, talking about my goals for the next three months. So if you want me to go into detail about, um, you know, the actual portfolio, then let me know and I will do that video separately. Um, I'll probably need to write things out a bit more other than just chatting as it's coming. So, yeah. That's generally what it's been. Direct observation, critical um, reflection log, um, the portfolio that I've been working on, and I've also discussed my caseload. So generally now, I think the next thing for me to talk about is just how I've been feeling and how it's been uh, generally and how I have found it so far. So my feelings. Oh, and I forgot to tell you that I have been having supervision. So for the first, um, I think for the first six weeks, I was having supervision with my assessor every week. And then after six weeks, we've been having it every other week. And in the middle of that, I've also been having supervisions with my manager about, I'll say once a month. So there is a lot of support um, in the program and you know, apart from the fact that I've had the supervisions, I've also had people that I can always go to. My um, colleagues generally, people, other people. I work in a multi-disciplinary um, team. So I work with uh, community, uh, I think they're community psychiatric nurses. I work with psychiatrists, psychologists, doctors. Um, I work with uh, therapists. I work with support workers in my team. So yeah and people are always willing if you ask questions to like explain to you the only thing that i really feel like has been missing a lot is the fact that i've not been able to really shadow people uh, due to the covid 19 restrictions so it's been a struggle being able to shadow people especially on visits or meetings um you know such as discharge planning and all that so and I've had to do work that I, I was not even able to shadow anyone. I've got uh, like a tribunal coming up, a social, you know, a tribunal coming up, a mental health tribunal coming up, uh, where I've not really shadowed anyone that's done that. And I'm going to be the, like the social worker. So it's kind of been a bit, um, in that way, it's been a bit difficult because, you know, the shadowing opportunities are very minimal. But um, wherever possible, I still, you know, observing COVID-19 restrictions, I still try to shadow people, even if it's via MS Teams. So my general feelings. Um, so my manager asked me during my last supervision if it's been everything that I thought it would be. And I, I was very sincere. I said, no, it hasn't been. I mean, obviously, I wasn't coming into this uh, with stupid expectations of it going to be rosy or how rosy it would be. You know, I knew it was going to be, you know, challenging and exciting, but it's beat my expectation in every way because it's been a lot, lot more. There is a dog here and I'm a bit scared of dogs, but I'm just going to keep, keep speaking. <laughs> yeah, there are people passing. I'm trying to get used to this vlogging thing when people are all around and watching. But never mind. Now I come to the biscuit. They gave me a little like <laughs> souvenir with my drink, which was really nice of them. So, yeah, yeah feeling. So it's beat my expectation in every way. Like it's been a lot harder than I thought it would be. Um, it's been a lot more challenging than I thought it would be. 
obviously uh, we're supposed to have very reduced caseload i know that my caseload is reduced compared to other colleagues also i work four days a week i don't work full time so sometimes when i thought i've, <laughs> I've had enough i just get a new a new case and i didn't even know that it was humanly possible for me to work as i've been working <laughs> don't get me wrong i'm a very hard worker i know i get told that every time <laughs> but it's been like crazy busy And there were days when I, most days, it wasn't even nine to five. Sometimes I'll finish really, really late because I'm trying to, you know, do a task. Especially with working from home sometimes. It gets really hard because you don't really disengage from the job easily. But sometimes you just have to say to yourself, for your own good, for your own mental health, so you don't burn out then you just have to stop, which is how I've been dealing with it. I go for more walks now, because uh, there was a time I was experiencing a lot of stress, and I thought, I don't want to burn out when I'm barely even, you know, when I've even barely started. So I started to manage my, uh, kind of myself a bit more, a bit better, just, you know, disengaging from things when I have to. So that's generally my feelings. It's been really, it was stressful, but now I'm managing better, uh, you know, and it, it was quite, it got quite intense. And I'm guessing that it's only gonna get even more intense. But now I'm sort of in a good place where I'm able to manage myself more. And with social work, you just have to keep prioritizing. Um, I mean, no one can ever tell you that enough until you actually experience it. So. A lot of prioritizing of my caseload, my workload has been going on. Um, but when I think of how stressful and how challenging it has been, I also have to say it has been really exciting. I've had a good mix of cases, which is why I wanted adult mental health. And I'm in a, a place where I do get a good mix um, of, of things, of cases, which makes it quite exciting for me. So, and also because I'm really grateful that, you know, I was able to finish, you know, from uni and get a job quickly. And because I really, really wanted to do this job, that's what's been keeping me going. So that's what's been happening in my um, first three months of ASYE. So are you a newly qualified social worker or are you, you know, just about finishing? Are you a student or are you very experienced? Um, how was your ASYE year? Are you having your ASY this COVID-19 um, pandemic? Yeah, just drop your thoughts. And if you have any question, anything that I have missed out or that I haven't covered, please ask me, leave a comment. Um, if you want more videos like this, um, yeah, just like it. And I'll be, I'll be sure to bring, you, to bring you more of this kind of things. I've enjoyed actually coming out to do this here. I hope that the sound is good enough for me to be able to use this video. Um, I hope it's good enough, but if you think it's terrible, drop a comment and let me know as well. And it's just been lovely. It's been lovely. So now I'm going to enjoy my... Mm. My drink. Mm. Oh my God, this is really good. So... That is pure, hmm, pure bliss, <laughs> pure heaven. <laughs> yeah, it's been lovely spending time with you guys. So until I see you next time, just remember that I love you. If you haven't subscribed, please click the subscribe button, like, share, ask your questions. I'm always happy to answer them. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye. Love you. Bye.